Thanks, Bri. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's great to be with you again, carrying on in our series, looking at those encounters uh, with Jesus. Uh, last week, I don't know whether you remember, uh, Becky was t- t- uh, talking to us uh, about Nicodemus, and we-, we learned that it's not what you know, it's who you know. Thank you, Lee. At least somebody was paying attention. And hopefully at you are at home um, would know that as well. Uh, we're going to do a, a, another story uh, this week. It's our penultimate one, so our second last one, um, and it'll be a short, short talk today because I've got a video for you to watch. But before we do that, I have a game to play. I learned last time that I probably shouldn't do any more magic tricks, so I won't do that, I promise. Um, but we'll, we'll play a game together. I think I, I have a PowerPoint. We're going to play a game um, do we call it the zoom up game? So I'm going to show you objects, pictures of objects that are zoomed up. And I'd like for you at home on the chat, but here also, to guess what that object uh, could be. So could I have the PowerPoint up, please? When you're ready. There we go. Nice. Okay. So here is the first. I've got to, I've got to turn it on as well. The first object, can anyone guess what that is? At home, type in the chat what you think that object is. I'll give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Anyone know what it is? Tinner tuna. It's actually a, a box of Pringles there. So you got some Pringles. Okay, I wonder whether you got that at home. Keep score, by the way, at home. Okay, next item, what could that be? I'll give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Anyone know what it is? If you put it in the chat. It's actually Isaac's camera. There we go. Oops. There it is. Isaac's camera there. So we got that in a shed. Okay, next item. I'll give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Any guesses? It is, I think, petrol. Yeah, at the petrol station. All right, next item. What do you think that could be? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Any guesses here? Anyone like the dipping them into some milk? Oreos. There you go, a pack of Oreos. Okay, next one. What could that be? Maybe something in this building. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Symbols. It is the drum kit. There you go. There it is. Have we got another one? Is that all of them? Oh, there's another one. Okay, there's another one. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Anyone guess what it is? The famous red colored bins in our church, if you recognize them. So it was just an interesting game to see how sometimes we need to uh, see the bigger picture on, on things. Sometimes being um, up close on things can be, can be really hard to, to understand uh, what it is. You're going to have to be careful. I'm going to walk into this table soon. Uh, so we're, we're going to learn a, a bit about why that applies uh, today. So I've got a video for us to watch now. Stories of the Bible. The Road to Emmaus. This is Jesus. hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. 
But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. For he was risen. He was alive. That same day, two of Jesus' followers were walking to a village called Emmaus and talking about everything that had happened with Jesus. As they were talking, Jesus suddenly came and walked with them. Oh, hello. But God kept them from recognizing Jesus. Jesus asked them what they were talking about. The two men were very sad. One of them, whose name was Cleopas, said, You must be the only person in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about all the things that have happened there in the last few days. Uh. Jesus asked, What things? The men replied, The things that happened to Jesus. And they began to tell Jesus about everything that had happened to him. They told him that some women had gone to his tomb and said that his body was missing and that others had gone to see if it was true and saw that his body really was gone. Then Jesus said to them, You foolish people, you find it so hard to believe all that the prophets wrote in the scriptures. Oh, uh, let me explain. Then Jesus took them through the writings of Moses and all the prophets, explaining from all the scriptures the things concerning himself. By this time, they were nearing Emmaus. Jesus acted as if he was continuing on. Hey, wait! But the men begged him to stay the night with them because it was getting late. Come with us. Oh, okay. So Jesus went home with them. And as they sat down to eat, Jesus blessed the bread. Then he broke the bread and gave it to them. Suddenly their eyes were open and they recognized Jesus. It's you. And at that moment, he disappeared. Where'd he go? The men said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us as he explained the scriptures to us? Come on! And that hour, they made their way back to Jerusalem. They found the eleven and the others who were with them and told them their story. As they were telling their story, Jesus was suddenly standing among them. Well, that's all that happened. Yep. Ah! Everyone was frightened and thought he was a ghost. Okay, come on, guys. But Jesus showed that it was really him. He showed them his hands and feet, and they all watched him in awe. Then Jesus asked for something to eat. Oh, got anything to eat? And they gave him fish to eat. Oh, that's good. Jesus reminded them that everything happened as it was supposed to and helped them understand the scriptures. Then he promised to send them the Holy Spirit and told them to stay in Jerusalem until the Holy Spirit would come and fill them with the power from heaven. That's amazing, isn't it? It's a lovely story. We call that the road uh, to Emmaus story. And it's so interesting. If you, don't, uh, if you didn't see it, our game, looking at the, the pictures that are close, um, zoomed in, it's hard to understand what it could actually be happening. The disciples had the same problem. Jesus had just died. Sometimes we have that same problem. We read Bible verses like, what does that even mean? But you know what? Looking at the bigger picture of things is so important, and that's what Jesus was teaching there. Sometimes we just need to zoom out, and the Bible is one book, believe it or not, and to be read all through, to understand all in, in context, in its bigger picture. And you know what? That leads me on to saying we've got light up this week, and in light up, what we are doing, we're going through the Bible chronologically, which means in order, and we're seeing the bigger picture. And I tell you what, it's amazing. I'm learning so much from it, and I bet you would too. If you've been before, you know how exciting it is. If you haven't been, come and join us. You don't even have to speak to me, but I'll speak to you about the Bible, seeing the bigger picture of things. Great, what an amazing story. Shall we pray together now? Here's our prayer. Dear God, thank you for the Emmaus Road story. We thank you for the wisdom Jesus had at sharing the scriptures with the two disciples. We pray that we'd be able to understand scripture in such a way to be able to share with our friends and family. In Jesus' precious name, amen. We're gonna now sing a song where we see Jesus and God's work all through history. <laughs>
God again, the Lord is good. 